if you believe that you want to say something beyond the drawing room talk, then join politics. And that's how my journey started. A number of a number of things I owe to her. So my gratitude, and I'm very happy that her family, her two daughters, and all her colleagues who were working with her is taking this forward. I once went to this small country. It's called Bhutan. It's a small country somewhere in the hills. And even the landing of the plane is very difficult because the plane has to reach a certain altitude, then do a very, very dangerous turn and land in the very small airstrip. It's a small country in Himalayas called Bhutan. I happened to go there for a conference. They have a king, but they also have a parliament. So the parliamentarians took me to their school. And to one of their school, I saw a number of children studying there. I was in class 4th or 5th, or maybe more. But they looked very young to me. And they were studying something. So when I saw their book, I saw their book, and when I saw their book, the whole subject was about civil liberties. और चैप्टर वन चैप्टर वन जो उसका था वाज अबाउट द राइट्स ऑफ ट्रीज दे हैड फंडामेंटल राइट्स ऑफ ट्रीज चैप्टर टू वाज अबाउट एनिमल्स राइट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड चैप्टर थ्री वर द राइट्स ऑफ द ह्यूमन बीइंग्स सो आई दैट कॉट मी वंडरिंग कि हम लोग इन पाकिस्तान वी डोंट स्टडी civil liberties. It was not until I went to do my law degree that I studied Aristotle or Plato or Socrates about their right to ask questions. And then I got inspired by one, one philosopher, Voltaire, a French philosopher. Tha. And I got inspired by one of his quotes. I was studying law to make money, but that, that, that quote actually inspired me and got me thinking. And he stated to have said ek, about somebody who he did not like, or his kitab ko bada censor kiya ja raha tha. So he said, You know, I, I hate what you say. I hate what you say, but I will die protecting your right to say it. Many such I bada jibo gareeb banda hai Walter, ki he hates what he's saying, but he'll protect, he'll die protecting that right. So what is this concept of civil liberties? And I said, why have I not studied this concept when I was growing up? And then I realized that we, this concept of civil liberties should be actually in the blood of each one of us Pakistanis. Because we got this nation, we, we got this country, we got our independence based on the concept of civil liberties. Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the moment we had achieved independence, what did he say? He said, you are free to go to your temples. Both famous quote hai. I'm sure everybody knows it. You are free to go to your temples. You are free to go to your mosques. You are free to practice whatever your religion is. The state has nothing to do with your religion. Ye tha concept hamara. We, in fact, I must give credit to our politicians. Politicians ko hum bahut zyada hamesha but I must give credit to them, those politicians who were the founding members of our 1973 constitution. They had the Universal Declaration of Human Rights with them. Universal Declaration of Human Rights with them. And then they made the constitution even better. The beautiful words, the fundamental rights in our constitution, the right of equality, the right to profess, your religion, 
the price that the, 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 the fundamental right that there will be no discrimination, the basic right of life, the right of due process, all these great and beautiful words, you will not find them in any constitution. So we gave, the politicians gave that constitution to the people of Pakistan. Now, where do we stand? We have the words of the law, we have the constitution, we have the ethos, but do we find those civil liberties available to us? Today's topic, I feel it is very, very interesting. What is the role of the politicians and the political forces in implementing what is already there in the law? We don't need the law. We need implementation. What can we do in our role? I think the fundamental role, the basic role of politicians is get a soul first. Get a soul in your body to actually feel for the people. Hame, what are we suffering from? We are suffering from two, and I said that in a speech very recently in the Senate. The chairman was, uh, of, the, of the Senate was in fact addressing, uh, was, was there at the, in, the, in, the address, uh, in the session. And I said, there are two hurdles that are stopping our civil liberties from being implemented. The hurdle, which I call it, of extremism and intolerance. And these two hurdles that are stopping our progress, while the rest of the world is in busy in, in making inventions, these two hurdles are stopping us. So, as a politician, I feel our first and primary responsibility is to tackle these two issues through education and through development. I always quote, and I will re-quote the, the conversation that Mulana Rumi had with one of his disciples. So the, and I've quoted this also in my speech recently. But it is worth quoting here also. So the disciple asked Mulana Rumi, which music sound, which music sound is haram in Islam? Which music sound is haram in Islam? And Mulana Rumi replied, the sound of spoons the sound of spoons when they are heard by the poor and the hungry. Civil liberties is something that cannot be achieved in its true form unless and until we get rid of poverty we have development in the country and these liberties follow that. The more the country develops, it's a historical fact, the civil liberties, the people will safeguard. The people themselves will safeguard those liberties. So our responsibility as politicians, first of all, is to ensure that the country develops and secondly, that we are educating people. Now, why have politicians so far failed to achieve this? That is important to learn. We have failed because if you look at our history, if you look at the history of the country, right from 1947, the politicians have been unable to live up to those expectations. They have been unable to fulfill their obligations. Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the moment 1947 came, Pakistan did not have a constitution. So he constituted a constituent assembly 
और वो जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असम्बली थी द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असम्बली वॉज सपोज टू मेक अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट डिड नॉट मेक अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फॉर टेन ईयर्स वो क्यों नहीं की कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बनाई बिकॉज इन इफेक्ट फॉर दोज टेन ईयर्स दे वॉन्टेड टू प्रोलॉन्ग देर लाइफ इफ दे हैड मेड अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन देन दे वुड हैव बीन नो लॉन्गर पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूट असेंबली दे वुड नॉट हैव इंजॉयड द प्रिवेज ऑफ बी मेम्बर्स ऑफ द असेंबली सो दे केप प्रोलॉन्गिंग इट देन वेन दे मेड द नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूट असेंबली डिड नॉट अ न्यू कॉन्स्टिट्यूट असेंबली केम दे मेड द फिफ्टी सिक्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इमीजिएटली इन फाइटिंग स्टार्टेड बिटवीन द पॉलिटिशंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर अपॉन प्राइम मिनिस्टर केम एंड दे चेंज and what happened then martial law came in fast forwarding it to 1977 we had a democratic government politicians were there but elections were rigged in fighting took place there were movements in the streets martial law came in and what happened then the very people who were fighting for democracy joined the new government of zia ul haq so the reputation of the politicians kept deteriorating over time then came an era of two political parties very important political parties of pakistan peoples party and nawaz sharif league and for many years they fought each other their interests was power they fought each other and none of them completed their five year terms one came in the second one left the second one came in the third one left and so again another martial law came at the end of the day so the politicians kept losing their reputation in the public and this important thing about civil liberties it kept giving way to other institutions to suppress them today also today also i was asked to answer a very important question today also we politicians are fighting each other we are constantly at loggerheads and i think that gives the right to other institutions to step in or not the right that's not the right word that gives them the opportunity to step in and when they step in then it's difficult to get the elephant out of the tent right now we have very serious curtailment of our liberties freedom of expression and speech fundamental right hota hai it is not there yes it is not there it is one sided some people are allowed to speak and their speeches are reported some people speeches are not number 2 justice rule of law means everybody is to be treated equally but we have one sided justice going on many of the political leadership of one political party is being victimized while the others are not i can go on and on about the civil liberties that are not there magar the point is why shouldn't we think openly why shouldn't politicians think ke aaj if today i am in power and somebody else is suffering tomorrow that person may be in power and i will be suffering until and unless we come to realize that and we accept the fact ki we actually have one agenda agar civil liberties ki baat karte hain to agenda har political party ka common hai every political party i believe believes in these fundamental rights lekin hota ye hai ki you become in power and once you come in power you forget about the fundamental rights of others and therefore the cycle is repeated and it gets get keep getting repeated so my answer to your question that you asked is yes let us first look at the fundamentals let us first agree that civil liberties human rights political rights social rights cultural rights all these rights 
are equal for everyone. Let us get the soul of these rights in our, in our, in our hearts and then we will talk. Then why should we not talk? But let us first get the premise straight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Senator uh, Ali Zafar Saab. And I've just received a request that uh, there will be a sub before we bring in our chief guest, just a very, very brief comment from the former member of the European Parliament who has traveled all the way from Ireland, if you give me so a very, very brief comment that he wants to just say something. John Kushner. I think there was a mic that was to be arranged. 